Do you know what it takes to get to the Stanley Cup Finals? It's what you work your whole career for. And you realize you're so close, you just have to win one more series. And Kalorn is down and seems to be in obvious pain. Boy, not sure if he'll be able to get back up after a block like that. It was game one, Stanley Cup Finals at home. One of the defensemen winded up for a big slap shot and I decided to lay out to block it. It got me in the wrong spot, I guess, and I just couldn't skate. And that's when I knew something was, was really wrong. This is not the moment in your season you want to see an injury like this. The fibula fracture is one of the most common orthopedic fractures, with 600,000 occurring each year. But the circumstances surrounding Alex Killorn's ankle fracture were anything but common. This was game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Watching Alex skate off the ice, I said, I think he broke his ankle. And then I was sitting there watching him on the bench. I knew something was, uh, was different. Anytime you're dealing with a professional athlete, it's always high stakes. Every day they miss and every week they miss is a potential portion of their season or game. And in this situation, Alex is in the Stanley Cup Finals. When he got his x-rays in the stadium, Alex had a non-displaced fracture of his fibula. We ordered a CT scan the next day and saw that it was a little more extensive than what we thought. Actually, it was a butterfly fragment. Ankle fractures are traditionally treated with open procedures, applying plates and screws to the outside of the bone. The procedure requires large incisions to place the plate and screws, resulting in some bulk to the outside of the bone. This approach can cause pain and irritation for patients. There's a lot of injuries you can come back from. A broken bone is typically not one of them. So at that moment, I kind of knew my series was over. Alex was in the Stanley Cup Finals. He wanted to get back and play at all costs. And so I think the Fibulock offered a minimally invasive technique to stabilize the fracture to try to get him out there. The Fibulock Intramedullary Nail for the Fibula is an innovative treatment for ankle fractures. The stainless steel nail is inserted into the fibula through a small incision and acts like an internal splint to stabilize the fracture during healing. The Fibulock is uniquely designed with proximal talons that allow for stable fixation to restore length, alignment, and rotation. The Fibulock procedure requires a significantly smaller incision, resulting in less post-operative pain and minimizing the risk of infection and wound complications, often associated with standard open reduction internal fixation plating techniques. The minimally invasive approach can lead to quicker healing and recovery, which allowed Alex to consider his return. If I were to get a plate, which would have been on the outside of my fibula, it would have been very difficult for me to put on a skate. There's so much that goes into an ankle flexion while you're skating, so it made it actually really easy. I was skating three days after the surgery, which is kind of wild. A huge part of it was because of that nail. Getting him back as soon as we did is a really remarkable testament to how far we've come in orthopedics, and I don't think Alex would have been able to get back without a device like the fibula. Alex Killorn suffered a broken fibula, broke his leg on a Monday. On a Thursday, had a rod inserted in his fibula, was skating by Saturday. That's how you win the Stanley Cup. All the hard work you put in, and it's realized in that moment. The fibular nail gave me the confidence to keep going forward and to get on the ice. I feel like my fibula is stronger now than it had been before.